Hey everyone, how's it going? Look, it's old Smokey. He's made a return to the channel. And we're disking up some plowing. Got a little bit of an AC problem there. Probably the window's open. Plowing up this whole pasture land here. I'm gonna seed it uh, into hay next year. Uh, so I went and broke out the 9270 and our old plow. Uh, we got actually some older plows yet, but this is one of three plows that we have. This is a John Deere 3600. It's a seven bottom plow. I wish it was 10 because it's a little bit too small for this tractor. Actually, the stagger would, uh, even the stagger would uh, pull this pretty easy too. But I can't get the stagger started because I'm having starter troubles. And I think it's the uh, one of the solenoids not on the starter on the side of the tractor. But that's another video. But yeah, it's uh, we had rain yesterday, so last night. So decided to come and work this field. I had sprayed it. I still zoomed in. Yeah, I had sprayed it quite a while ago. So we're ready for a plow. And it's gonna take a couple workings to get her good. But it's working a lot better than just a disc alone. So that disc is still not quite heavy enough. Uh, I was thinking of adding a a net, steel net, like a crusher screen into the middle of the frame so I can pick up the rocks because this is rock, rock country here. It's kind of more in veins. There's a lot of rock over there and then there's nothing and then there's rock again. So uh, me and Lori just piled up a couple big rocks we found about as big as a tire on the plow. And we just rolled them up and uh, put a couple rocks on top of it so we can remember where they are and come and get it again so but uh, yeah I'm gonna keep on going So I'm in the tractor now. Mr. Sean is driving. It's actually his first time plowing. Is this your first time ever plowing, Sean? No, you plowed before? Where? With this? Oh, really? Well, see, I haven't plowed for so long, I don't remember who plowed or what. And when? Well, I know it was about seven years ago. But yeah, we're plowing uh, this pasture down. It's 
uh, we were, we were disking it first, but we decided to try the plow and uh, decided to go with the plow because it's just uh, doing a better job ripping and turning it over. It's like I said, it's pretty packed down ground here, so the disc wasn't it's not quite heavy enough to uh, go down as deep as we want. But the plow will go down. Uh, the plow is going down. It'll go to China. So at I actually had to figure out how to set the depth again. You have to set the front and then you set the back. So yeah, but slow. That's one thing. Uh, I kind of wish it was bigger. It's probably had a little tent bottom with this tractor. But uh, like I said, that's uh, one of three plows that we have. We also have a five bottom and a four bottom at home and they're quite small they are uh, uh, 14 inch shear and 16 inch shear and this is a 20 inch shear so this thing is probably putting out well I would say about 10 12 feet wide yeah about 10 feet for sure so yeah the old 92 sandwich is turning along Oh, we had, uh, we had the, the whole board trip, so you have to lift the plow out of the ground and then put it back to reset. And she's very rough on this pasture. It's not smooth at all. But I'll go outside and get some more footage. Poor plowshears. Right in this area here, uh, there's a lot of rock, and uh, you could probably hear that on the video how they were the shears were just grinding. So they're not gonna last too too long. A lot of rock like this under there. Some big ones like right there. I started a pile. Those ones are uh, back breakers, what I call them, because you can just barely lift them. So I gotta get those guys out of there, but uh, I'll remember they're there. Uh, yeah, we just had a rain yesterday, so it is a little damp. Uh, but this stuff works out really easy. It's very sandy. But uh, yeah, it's just about getting to be uh, nine o'clock here. Uh, looks like it wants to rain again. Hope not, because I got a lot of hay down now. Nearing the end of finally first cut. Uh, we should be done that by now. There's some second cut I wanna I wanna get done, and it's looking pretty good with all the rain. So uh, harvest time is almost upon us. So I'll have to be getting uh, combines ready to go, and all that good stuff. And the mosquitoes are out now. Nine o'clock mosquito time. 
and uh, they are starting to eat me alive. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you leave your comments down below, and uh, we'll talk to you all soon.